Hi there, I'm Buddha and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I'm showing you how I approach my Line 6 HX effects. It took me a long time to figure out the better way to take advantage of all the features that the HX effects offers me. And I just figured out a really, really, really powerful way of using it. But first of all, let me thank my dear patrons. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much for being uh, with me since the beginning and for supporting the show. You really make it happen. You know, if you want to become a patron yourself, you just go to the link above and it's super easy. You'll be getting early access to episodes, a free video lesson every week and free backing track every month. And of course, my huge thank you because you're helping me keep on building the channel. Let's go. Okay, so I have the HX effects with me here and it's factory uh, setting. The way to factory preset to, to or to make it be factory um, default again is just simply by clicking these two knobs when turning it on. I'm not doing it because it takes a while. So you press these two knobs, you turn it on and it factory, uh, it goes to factory definition. So what am I doing? The powerful, the most powerful way of using the HX effects is actually to use it in the HX edit on the computer. So I'm recording the computer and showing you what I'll do. What I first did was to figure out which pedals do I need for my Buddha Power Blue setup. That was the first thing. So what I'll do is create those pedals as favorites so then I can call them back when I want to create sounds. Then you have the HX effects has basically three ways of approaching. So what they call a preset, I actually am calling a bank. They call bank one has four presets. So one A, one B, one C, one D. And that would be it. And that was my first approach. But you have snapshots, which means that you can press bank up and now you press bank and up and down at the same time and now you have four snapshots per preset which means we actually have four presets inside of a preset so basically i will think of this as a bank and of snapshots as my presets so this will be each preset or each bank whatever i call it 1A, for example, will be my one song. And within that song, I have a pedal board built and I have four snapshots, which basically are my four presets for the song. Intro, verse, chorus, solo, for example. This way I can fit, because you only have 32 banks, as they call it. So initially I thought like, man, if I only have 32, I can only have 32 songs. Wrong, because I can have 32 banks plus each bank has four presets but each preset has four snapshots so basically i have 32 times 4 times 4 which is 512 presets okay basically what i want is those 32 times 4 which means i have 128 presets more than enough that means i can store a song per preset and then have four snapshots of it. Basically, what's a snapshot? What is a snapshot? It took me a, a, a while to, to understand it. In a preset like this, for example, on let's initiate on new preset 31A, for example. Within it, we have no pedals, so we have to build a pedal board. And that basically means we're building the we're, we're putting the pedals there. Then the snapshot allows you to record whatever feature you want, which pedal are on or off, but you can also save like for snapshot one, I want my King of Tone drive with uh, the tone on the min at the minimum. And for snapshot, snapshot two, I want the King of Tone to have the tone at max and a little more gain and a little more volume. And it will record and memorize all that. So it's like having a pedal board switcher 
but that also can change your presets per snapshot. So it's incredibly power. Let's start from the beginning. Let's choose my main effects to form the pedal board, the ones I use for Buddha Power Blues. I will not create every song because it will be a one week uh, duration video, but I will, I will guide you through the process. Let's go to the HX edit window and start filling up on one. Okay, so it's very simple. You create, you go to distortion and I have a list that I'll share with you. I wrote it on paper because I'm that organized. Okay, so I want an, a Maxon SD9 and the Maxon SD9 is actually this Hedgehog. I know I use it, gain at minimum, tone at minimum, okay? And what I'll do is I'll play it while we talk and then save it to favorites, okay? So in order to, to keep you following, I'm using my trusty Nax Chop Tank as usual with my Lava Retro Coil cable and I'm plugging into my Super Reverb which is usually what I get when I have rental. And why do I want this? Because I don't play my HX effects in Portugal. Usually I play it when I go travel by plane and I want a super portable ray. And that's what I want. This is my clean tone. Let's turn on the Edge Hog. What I like about the Hedgehog, or basically the SD9, the Maxon SD9, is that it can be distorted. It's a lead sound kind of approaching, um, it kind of resembles or can resemble um, a fuzz almost, but it cleans up really well. So it can give me a lot just on the tip of the finger. And when I'm playing live in, with a fly rig, I want that versatility. So let's record it. It's, it's okay for me. I just adjusted the, the level. We press here this star and it goes to star. I'll, I'll write Maxon SD9 so I know what it is. And it's saved on my favorite list. Pedal number two is the King of Tone, which here the King of Tone actually is the Tone Sovereign, but it's two sides of the King of Tone. I almost never use the two sides, so I want the hair apparent, which is basically one of the sides. Uh, I'll call it King of Tone, of course. And... I'll set it to normal, overdrive. I think it's lacking a little brightness I think I'll add some presence.
good. Let's save it. So instead of hair parent, I will call it KOT King of Tone. Right, it's done. Next pedal will be the Zvex Fuzz Factory. That I have to look because and, and they have a lot of um I think it's this one. Yeah. <laughs> Just freaking unbelievable the way this emulation pedal sound it's I'm not comparing them to the to the actual uh, real pedals but it's the same feel it's incredible I'm astonished so now I have my fuzz factory Zvex fuzz factory I need not to fuzz let me just go and I'm you you, you see I, I'm just using this block here to create to make them go to the favorite list. I'm not even creating patch list yet. So I need the Octafuzz, which I think is this Tycho Bray. It's the only one they have. It's not as great as my other Octafuzzes, but I think it does the job quite well. If you have any suggestion on an Octafuzz for the Helix, let me just hear it. <laughs> take off the fuzz a little oh and by the way you can also change it here when you touch because the the foot switches are touch sensitive so when you touch a foot switch it goes to the menu and if you, you have a more complex more complex pedal with more than three controls it, if you hold on touching it it will go to uh, the bigger menu so you can always change it here too. It's easier on the computer, but you can always change it here. The only thing I don't really love about this one is that it doesn't clean as well as an Octafuzz, but it does the job. So Octafuzz created. Next one in line will be a compressor. I use the SP compressor, which is really great. So it's under Dynamics, and they have it here like something kinky compressor. Um, okay, let's hear it. Too compressed. I use the mix low. A little boost in volume. Love it, SP Comp. 
and those are the names that are showing up on my HX effects, which is really cool. So I got this covered. I need a Leslie, and for the Leslie, I'll go to modulation. Well, modulation, and it will be rotary something. Where is it? Probably have to go to legacy. It's here. Rotary drum with horn. I think this is the one I like. This is the one I use on my M series, the M5 or the M13. love it. I can have a little more drive into it. Okay, save it, like it, then I can always alter it, and I'll call it Leslie. We have a Leslie. Now I need a tremolo, and tremolo is also under modulation, but I like this, which is the boss tremolo, with the sine wave. It's almost there. Less intensity, way less intensity. Beautiful tremolo, love it. Save as tremolo. Great name. Now I need a univibe, which is also under the modulation thing. It will be something like, yeah, ubiquitous vibe or something like this. <laughs> This is perfect. I won't even touch it. Univibe. Man, I love this HX effects simulations. Freaking great. I need a phaser, phase 90. Script mode will be probably the thing. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so I'll write phaser. Then it's easier to, to capture it. And I'm building a list so you can see it here on my favorite list. I start to have my pedals. So basically, I'm creating a pedal collection. I'm creating a virtual pedal board. I need a huge reverb, a spring reverb. I know the hot springs is really cool. Let me check it. <laughs> Just like it a little more, a little longer. Drip high. Oh, trails. I like it to have trails. So this means that if you have trails, when you turn off the pedal, it will keep ringing. So it's dry, but when you turn it off, it, it will stop ringing. It will decay naturally, which I love. Uh, this is okay. I don't need high cut. I want it bright because I like bright. Let me check the, the springs. I like it with two as it was. The spring sound. The, I like the drip and uh, let's increase the dwell. Okay, 
now let's decrease the mix. I'll save it as hot springs because I'm trying I'll try to find another spring here I'm not very convinced let's hear the legacy all the legacy presets are the ones that come in the M series and I'm very familiar with the M series so I want the 63 for example Yeah, I think I prefer the, the other one. I know I want something stranger. So I'll go with the mono. I would like something like a small, small, small room. Not here, so I need to go into the legacy because the tile thing is great. It sounds like a small room. Hear the difference. So sometimes this will substitute my slap thing. I love it, so I'll write it down. Small room. And it's presetted on my favorites. I want a huge reverb. I need a huge reverb, not nothing like the, the spring. I, I want like a big, 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 very ambient reverb. Let me check this one. No, I'll go for the... Probably the plate. Yeah, I want something big like this. I will call it plate. It's called plate already. So now for my delay settings, I need a slapback. And if you have been following the show, you know this for a long time. I'll need a slapback, a one repeat delay, which is tap tempo um, available, which will be a dotted eight, but just one repeat. And then I want a memory man kind of thing, huge repeats. Uh, and I want a swell. So let's go for delays. I want a slapback, so probably I'll go for a tape thing because it's bright. Transistor tape will probably be good. So I know I want one repeat, 
very short tempo like 90 or 1 shorter than this All this time effects, I like to have them on trails on. Let me just uh, turn the mix a little quieter. Probably want it a little more. On a computer, you just hit space to turn it on and off. That's what I'm doing. So it's an easy on and off switch. I'm not even using the the actual pedal. I'm controlling it all here. Let's save it as a slap. Now I want one repeat, and for one repeat, I usually like analog delays because they sound a little warmer. Here it is. I know I'll have to tap tempo it. So I click on this knob here, and I want it dotted eight. So One repeat, so feedback at minimum. Okay, so this will give me a space where I can be in without being a reverb and I love it for some solos for some songs. Now I need a Memory Man and the Memory Man is actually called Elephant Man in here. On a computer you can actually see the, the, the panel itself. So of course I want trails. Um, I want it dotted 8 and I want the feedback to be a little. So let's hear it. Well, the mix is too high. I want it on the verge of self-oscillation. It's still rolling, so let's save it a favorite. I call it Mem Man, as a short for Memory Man, of course. Create my Memory Man preset. I need a swell, and for the swell, I know there's a great one here. I just have to figure it out because I forgot the name of. Oh, let's make let's 
hear the glitch delay just by fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Euclidean, not sure what it is. Great. Okay, let me hear. The, they, they have some swell in here. Let me check if that's on the legacy thing. Because I always use on my legacy the auto volume. Yeah, here it is. So, auto volume. Let's save it as swell. Okay. Now, what do I need more? I need an octave down and an EQ. Uh, an octave will be on the pitch. Simple pitch, let's try this one. Let me check if they have, well, they have a 12 string. Really great. <laughs> If I ever need, oh, a polycapo, which means you probably can, yeah, you probably can make it go down or whatever. This is incredible, just to transpose on 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 the spot, so I'll I'll write it here on my favorites because I'll I'll probably use it in a gig. And being on the favorites it's super easy to access. But let me get my octave, which I want, so probably simple pitch will solve it. Lower octave. Okay, minus twelve because it's in half step, so I think the delay is meant to create the effect like a paw creates. Yeah, because the paw creates kind of a slap. So the tracking is not as tight, but I like the tracking with zero delay. Level, okay, mix, half, half, sounds okay. Let me boost it, because I like it a little more. And I use it with distortion. Sounds okay, let me preset it as octave down. I just love the 12 string. Great, super convincing, love it. And I need an EQ which will be here, simple EQ. I want like a the boss graphic EQ. Oh, it has the acoustic sim, fucking a ten band graphic. Probably. Okay, not this one. Tilt. Oh, tilt is great. This will be good for um, 
this EQ section will be good for tailoring some of my fuzz tones. Sometimes I will need it. So the tilt will probably be great, but I know I have it here. So I won't save it. Okay. Let's move to the next stage. The next stage I'll program one or two songs so you can see how I do it. Let me go for example to Take My Soul, which is a very complex song. And for that I've done a preset list per song stating which, um, as you can see, which effects I'm using on each song. So let's go for a complex one. Take My Soul would be a good one to start because it's hard. So preset number one will be Swell Delay plus Shimmer Reverb. Uh, I haven't done this yet. So let's do it. Preset number one. So let's take this off and go to favorites. So I want a Swell Delay, but I know I want an SP compressor at the start to get me the notes to ring. Then I want a Swell Delay and I want it to go to a reverb, I would probably use the plate. Let's see what this sounds like. But instead of the plate, let me just hear with a delay. I need something moving, so probably I'll add the vibe. Let me hear it. Not quite it. So I'll go to the Shimmer Reverb. I think this is the one. Not quite there. I knew I had some some delay, some reverb here with sparkling thing. Well, let's go with my favorite plate. I think it's a good option. So this will be my snapshot one, and I'll name it, right click it, rename, uh, swell. On preset number, so here, 
I have this one. On preset number two, I will have my drive with the memory man and some reverb. Oh, okay, so I'll probably add the memory man here. It will also give me a cool favorites, memory man, and it's here. And I'll need a drive, which will be the king of tone for sure, memory man, and the reverb. So the reverb will stay the same. Let me put the king of tone here, and we'll go here. Okay, so now I have them all on. I'll turn the King of Tone off. Way better. The Memory Man is giving it a huge depth. Let me check if I if I need the reverb. I'll probably no need the reverb and last feedback here probably. Just check this volume pan because nope, nothing like this one. So let's stick on this. Okay. Sounds good. So this will be snapshot one. I have to save it. My preset. Ah, oh, shit. So I have to do it again. Okay, favorites. SP compressor. Next one will be. That's. This is why the favorites is very important because it's all here. King of tone. Not on. Next will be my swell. Followed by. The memory man, and then I'll add the plate reverb. Okay, not on to. So this will be the swell. See how easy it was? Okay. Now I just have to check my soul. Okay. Saved. Okay. So snapshot two will bring me to drive memory man and reverb. So I'll lose this one. I'll get this one. I'll lose the compressor. I'll get the reverb. So this is probably it. Perfect. So this will be called Drive Mem Men. It doesn't fit, so Drive Delay in my short for delay, it's DLI. Will be saved here. Snapshot number three will be the same sound, but with the memory man really low in the mix. So this will be an easy fix. So it will be, I'll go here. Okay, I right click and I go and tell it it will be snapshot dependent. So now, on this snapshot, I will turn... Well, it's not this one I wanted, I'm sorry. Uh, none. The mix is the one I want to be 
snapshot dependent. So I'll turn it real low, real low, almost barely noticeable. Yeah, and I'll also put the feedback uh, snapshot dependent, so it will be last feedback. I'll do the same thing here with the mix, snapshot dependent, and I'll set it here. Sounds good. Let's save it. And this is the only one I know how to save it, but probably there's a better one. Um, okay, on snapshot 4, it will be my Octafuzz with the memory man barely on and the reverb uh, a little more uh, quieter. So I just figured out I need the Octafuzz here and I didn't remember what I do. Go to the favorites, select Octafuzz. Now I move it here, okay? And it, it is on all snapshots. So on this snapshot, it is on. Let me figure out if I need it like this or like this. So reverb. Great, let me hear with the King of Tone. Okay, I'll use it with the King of Tone. Snapshot 4, saved, and I have my Take My Soul preset here. It's on 31, but I can, for example, pass it to, I can create, I can copy it, and paste it to, for example, number 1 if I want. Paste. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Take My Soul is now my preset 1A, okay, with 4 snapshots, and this snapshot will be called Octopus. Now Take My Soul has the four snapshots and now what I have to do is you click mode to enter it sh now they are all over but I'll arrange them so you can do it uh, in two ways either on the on, on here or we can do it on the pedal board. The pedal board is super easy because for example I want the compressor to be here so I touch both knobs and they say do you want to trade them yes I do so now my SP compressor is here now I want to change the king of tone to second position and now it's here octafuzz is here so I want to change it with the king of tone okay so they're on order and now the swell will change with this one and this one will change with this one so now they're arranged in the way that I want. Save and it's done. So by pressing mode I can either enter the pedal board and have access to all of it and this pedal board only has six pedals that's all I need for this song or I can access the snapshots via here. I forgot to rename snapshot 3 let's do it. Let's go to snapshot 3 and 
rename it, what is Snapshot 3? In Drive Reverb. So rename it, Drive. Now I can also... So now it's saved. Take my soul, it saves. And I want to save it to preset number one. Okay. Override it, and it's done. Okay. So let's, and I'll save it like this. So every time I go to take my soul, it's saved on the swell sound. So I have my first sound. What more can I ask? Now I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll create all the patches, but without you having to watch it all, because it's a pain. And I'll show you in a minute a lot of the patches I created and how I use it. By having the pedal board like this, I can save the set list into my computer, and then I can arrange the set list as I want, and preset 1A will be my first song, 1B will be my second song, 2B, 1C will be my third song, and they're on. So I can have it all arranged by a set list and play just with the HX effects with no pedals. It even has a tuner. Let me go to work and I'll show you in a minute.